while 99% of breast cancer is diagnosed in women, 1% can also occur in men and being a woman and getting older is the most important unmodifiable risk factor for breast cancer and that's going to happen to all of us, whatever we may do so. So the incidence of breast cancer will also increase as the population increases. Now, as I said, potentially every lady is at risk of development of breast cancer, but then there are some modifiable risk factors and some unmodifiable risk factors. The unmodifiable risk factors are gender, age, family history, age of menstruation, age of menopause, which we can't do anything about. And there are some modifiable risk factors. These modifiable risk factors are obesity, diet, lack of physical activity, tobacco and alcohol consumption, and usage of some types of hormones. The most common symptom of breast cancer is a painless lump in the breast or underarm region. This may be or may not be associated with changes in the skin of the breast. There may be associated retraction of the nipple, there may be dimpling of the skin, there may be a blood stain, spontaneous discharge from the nipple. Sometimes there is a rash-like appearance of the skin of the breast. Any of these changes, if you see, please visit your doctor. Once a diagnosis of a breast cancer is made, we have to know as to what stage the disease is in. So for that to happen, we do something called as uh, initially we do a mammogram to make sure we don't miss out on any other lumps in the same breast or on the opposite breast. And for doing a proper staging, we do something called as a PET CT uh, to look for disease elsewhere in the body. And once this is done, based on the uh, size of the tumor, the location and uh, the patient preference, we give the patient options of surgery like a lumpectomy. Uh, wherein a uh, breast is conserved, the entire breast is not removed. This is also called as a breast conserving surgery versus total mastectomy. So these are the precautions. And uh, once the surgery is done, uh, then uh, we tell what next to be done. Uh, what do we mean by reconstruction? We take out one part of the uh, breast, either it is a lumpectomy wherein a specific part of the breast that is lump along with margins is taken out. So we need to uh, rearrange the breast to get the best possible functional and cosmetic outcomes. This is called as uh, oncoplasty. If it is done, uh, uh, it can be done by two methods. One is called as local oncoplasty where we use the native breast tissue and rearrange it uh, in such a way that the breast contour is reached again. The second method is called as a uh, um, volume replacement surgery wherein we use tissues from other parts of the body uh, which can be from the surrounding areas like the back or from uh, the uh, ab uh, abdominal wall that is specifically tram flap and DF flap uh, or uh, implants also can be used. Yeah, it depends on the patient's preference. If the patient wants it to be done at the same uh, sitting, we can do it then and there, which is uh, preferred. Uh, if the patient decides to get it done later, we can, uh, you know, schedule it uh, later at the end of the complete treatment. Well, breast cancer is the commonest cancer in India, both males and females combined as per the Globocon 2020 data. So around 1 in 8 women have a lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. So that is an appalling figure. The incidence of cancer in India overall is 100 per 1 lakh population and breast cancer it is 30 to 35 per 1 lakh population and most of it is in 6th or 7th decade postmenopausal women. However, younger women can also get breast cancer and in men also out of for every 100 females one male can get breast cancer. Around 5 to 10 percent of breast cancers are hereditary and some features indicating hereditary breast cancer are age less than 45 years, multiple cancers on the same side of the pedigree in the family, 
multiple cancers in the same individual like breast and ovarian cancer in the same individual certain ethnicity like ashkenazi jewish population they have a higher incidence of mutations some specific types of breast cancer like triple negative breast cancer an unusual presentation of breast cancer like breast cancer in a male or bilateral breast cancer in a female these indicate hereditary breast cancer and there are very simple blood test available nowadays which cost only a few thousand rupees which can determine whether it is a hereditary breast cancer and gene targeted therapy is also available nowadays well yes definitely the survival the quantity and quality of life both can be significantly increased even in stage 4 even though cure is not possible with newer treatment options such as targeted therapy hormonal therapy immunotherapy biological therapy so every patient deserves treatment not every patient require radiation after breast cancer surgery however all those patients who undergo breast conservative surgery would require radiation uh, those patients who undergo mastectomy either as a choice or because of their disease pattern some of these patients may not require radiation those patients who have spread to the lymph nodes after mastectomy or those who have risk factors those would require radiation treatment even after mastectomy usually radiation does not cause much of side effects when we treat the chest wall or the breast region generally they have either heaviness of that breast or the tenderness in that region and there would be some skin darkening and pigmentation and patients typically they take radiation for 15 minutes and then they go back to work after completion of radiation even if they have some pigmentation of the skin it takes around a month for the side effects to subside by itself generally breast cancer treatment is a multimodality treatment involving surgery uh, radiation and chemotherapy so we generally advise these patients to wait at least for 2 years before they consider having a family so mastectomy is removal of the entire breast tissue so there are specific indications in breast cancer when the entire breast has to be removed for example when the breast cancer involves the entire skin or which we call as pudy orange or an ulcer is formed because of the tumor on the skin another indication would be if there are multiple sites of breast cancer in the same breast multiple cent, uh, multifocal disease as we call it breast has to be entire breast has to be removed another specific indication is known as inflammatory breast cancer where breast entire breast has to be removed after chemotherapy so these are the few situations where mastectomy is definitely indicated in breast cancer so recurrence rate means what are the chances of breast cancer coming back in spite of being uh, treated in spite of undergoing complete treatment so the recurrence rate depends on the stage at which breast cancer is diagnosed so for stage 1 the cure rates is almost about 95% which means the recurrence rates are only about 3 to 4% so stage 2 in which the breast cancer could have spread to the glands lymph glands in the armpit or in the axilla as we call it the cure rates are almost about 85 80 to 85% which means the chance of it coming back is about 15 10 to 15% stage 3 in which the size of the tumor in the breast is more or it has already spread to the lymph gland so this the cure rate would come down to about 50 to 60% which means the chances of it coming back is about 40 to 50% the answer is a big yes we have a lot of success stories of women uh, in their 30s and early 40s which is seems to be the age at which breast cancer is diagnosed nowadays who have completed successfully completed treatment and conceived so th- when they express their desire at the start of treatment to conceive uh, uh, in spite of having breast cancer we, they undergo a procedure known as ovum banking or embryo banking which will be used uh, following the treatment the same ovum or embryo is used for them to conceive and generally the offsprings will not have any uh, no complications because the treatment which the mother has undergone due to breast cancer in the past 
the most common surgery for breast cancer used to be a mastectomy. Nowadays, more and more women with breast cancer are being diagnosed at an early stage, and the majority of them are able to undergo a lumpectomy. A lumpectomy is also called breast conserving surgery or organ conserving surgery. This is because the cure rates in early breast cancer are the same irrespective of whether a woman chooses to undergo a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. A lumpectomy is a surgical removal of the cancerous lump in the breast along with a small margin of breast tissue. It is also called breast conserving surgery or organ conserving surgery. In mastectomy, the entire breast along with the cancer is removed. Apart from a few exceptions, most women with early breast cancer can undergo a lumpectomy rather than a mastectomy. In, in addition to the obvious advantage of preserving the breast and therefore having a superior cosmetic and psychological outcome, a lumpectomy or a breast conserving surgery is also a smaller operation with a quicker recovery. does recovery take after a breast cancer surgery? The breast is a subcutaneous organ. That means it lies just under the skin. Therefore, surgical access is technically easy. It does not require any painful or difficult incisions. So recovery after breast cancer surgery is quite quick. In fact, most patients are admitted on the morning of the operation, undergo the operation and are discharged on the next day. Some even are discharged on the same day as the day of surgery. After surgery, there is no restriction on diet or any kind of physical activity. In fact, some of our women have gone back to work the day following discharge. Normally, we advise a few shoulder and arm exercises following surgery, especially if we have done a dissection of the lymph nodes in the armpit. Radiation after breast cancer surgery is usually started within four to six weeks time. This time period is given for, to allow wound to heal and for the normal tissues to recover from the effects of surgery. Radiation treatment can vary according to the stage of disease. While the total dose delivered remains more or less the same, the area which we cover can undergo a change. During early stage disease, only the breast is uh, covered for radiation. Whereas in advanced stages, in addition to the breast, the lymph node area also undergo radiation. Uh, the radiation therapy differentiates between cancer cells and normal cells by using what is called as fractionation. Fractionation means total dose is divided into few equal number of uh, sessions delivered over few weeks and every five treatments are followed by a two days gap. During this gap, the normal cells recover from the effects of radiation whereas cancerous cells are unable to recover. That creates a difference between the effect of radiation on normal tissues versus cancer cells. The cause of breast cancer is due to an interplay of multiple factors which could be lifestyle factors, dietary factors, environmental factors acting on the background of genetic factors. The common lifestyle factors we talk about are the role of urbanization where we are having late pregnancies, lesser children, less breastfeeding and all these can lead to increased risk of breast cancer. Dietary factors using Fatty diets, especially with increased red meat, increased use of alcohol, also has an increased risk of breast cancer. Having less exercise, not being very active, a sedentary lifestyle also increases the risk of breast cancer. And then there's always the genetic risk of breast cancer, where 5 to 10% of patients carry genes mutations of BRCA1 and 2 mutations, which can increase their risk of lifetime risk of developing breast cancer and also cancers like ovarian cancer. Preventing breast cancer involves talking to women, encouraging them to have a very healthy lifestyle. We encourage them to exercise regularly, 
having a diet which is less in red meat, having a preventing obesity which can happen and preventing a lot of weight gain. This kind of a lifestyle is protective for breast cancer. Also regular follow-ups and checkups for breast lumps is important. If a woman carries a hereditary BRCA1 or 2 gene mutation, then there are uh, ways by which they can prevent breast cancer which may involve surgery called prophylactic mastectomy. And also sometimes we use hormonal tablets to try and prevent breast cancer in this high-risk population.